everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here. And today is Thursday, so of course it's another episode of Thirsty Thursday. Almost at the weekend, folks, and hope you have your plans sought out or whatever you're going to do. Hope you enjoy doing it. But why we're here meal vitamins and i have a little history with meal at first uh when they debuted i believe it was like early 2000s or mid 2000s i don't know i believe i was in school or just uh graduated going into junior college but these little doohickeys came out and meal was like marketed as you know water enhancers are coming back and you have different flavors and you can you know jazz up your water if you don't like drinking straight up water and it's all well and good but with the regular meals and what led me to stop drinking them is that they had the artificial sweetener. They had the sucralose. You know, your main um, culprits, sucralose, potassium, um, ace, full, ace sulfomate, or Lord, I'm probably butchering that one, ace K, and um, aspartame. So I was a little bummed out, stopped drinking Mio, and lo and behold, like a little while back, I noticed that Mio was expanding into having energy flavors and electrolyte flavors, and then, this caught my eye, vitamin flavors. And it doesn't really mean much in terms of like the vitamins, you know, B vitamin, B complex. That's nice, but if you can see up here, it's got naturally sweetened. Oh, that was what that's the ticket I needed, folks. That's what I needed to, you know, feel comfortable in trying this product. And um, if you turn to the back label, it says, you know, with stevia extract, stevia leaf extract to be exact. So. Yeah, I was not comfortable at first when I found out the dangers of aspartame and Ace K and all that. So I try to limit how much I, you know, consume of those type of products, those diet products. But um, this flavor is tropical cherry, and I also bought another flavor, blackberry raspberry. I will say up front, as a caveat to this line of Mio, is that there are not that many flavors compared to their main line of just, you know, Mio products. And then I think Electrolytes has a little bit more flavors than vitamins. I'm not sure, but I think there's also like an orange vanilla, I believe. Don't quote me on that, folks, but, like, yeah, it's, like, only four or five flavors of the Mio vitamins that are naturally sweetened. So, got my nice solo cup of water here. I'm gonna do a little squirt. Instructions say, ooh, got all over my hand. Instructions say one squeeze per eight ounces. This holds 16, maybe a little bit more. So I'm not being all that generous. But yeah, folks, it looks really red. And might be too strong. There is, unfortunately, like red food coloring, like FDC. Um, FTC grade food coloring, but 
you know, folks, we just, we'll limit it. <laughs> so here's how it looks. And it kind of ricocheted all over the ice cubes. Got over my hands and whatnot. Okay, fixed jaw. Now we're going in for the sip. Okay. So, this isn't as sickly sweet as if this were to be manufactured with like the three culprits that I named the aspartame sucralose or ace K it's got a hint of sweetness it's got a nice hint of cherry so let's just go right into the verdict folks shall we in the case of Mio's or Mio vitamin line, um, the cher the tropical cherry flavor, I would give this. <clears throat> excuse me, I would give this. I would actually give this a good. It's on par with. Um, what do I want to say? It's on par with Stirs, Stevia sweetened. Um, drinks so they're not super super sweet like with what you would expect with the artificial sweetener but these have a nice hint of sweetness and like they really liven up you know plain water which is what you really want to drink a water enhancer for it's not to you know mask it as juice Although some of these companies that have these water enhancers for like less than um, the cost of the stevia sweetened enhancers, they taste super like sickly sweet because artificial sweeteners are like tenfold e even more time sweeter than regular table sugar. So I wasn't expecting to get that Ugh, you know that super artificial sweet taste so this is just nice this is on par with stir what i do like about Mio vitamins is it's widely available versus stir like stir you can find in some select stores you know some retailers and of course amazon but Mio is more widespread it's definitely more established so you have a better shot of finding stevia sweetened meal or the meal vitamin line versus stir but both are good of uh, stevia enhanced water enhancers said enhanced twice stevia sweetened water enhancers folks ah, forgive me it's been a long day so, yeah, like I said, it's good. I, you know, fun fact, I got this um, a little while back when it was on sale. Buy one, get one free. Um, so I got this one and the other one. It's just that they didn't have all of, or my local Publix didn't have all of the Stevia sweetened flavors, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to do it for this episode of Thirsty Thursday. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, kind of short, sweet, straight to the point. Kind of figured this would be more, like, boring because yeah, it's a water enhancer. It's not anything, like, fun or exciting. But that's, that's what I'm pretty much on, folks. Like, whenever I get a chance to, like, get something to drink, I'm most likely going to dip into the water enhancers. I will say, um, I don't know, if you don't mind, I'd like to, like, keep keep it going with the water enhancers, because, like, they really, like, there are some water enhancers that are really good, some that I really wanted to try, but haven't got around to it, but, oh, I should stop doing that, <laughs> so, um, 
I don't know, like, I just want to say maybe as a heads up, I'm going to be doing some water enhancers for the next, like, quite a few Thirsty Thursdays, because I do have them on hand, and, um, yeah, it's what I'd like to share with you all. So, folks, any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, don't be a stranger, leave it in my comment section below. Any and all are welcome and greatly appreciated. You know, I like to take time to read comments, whatever you um, have on thoughts, feelings for Mio, for water enhancers in particular, or, you know, just drinking water. You know, there, there are times where I have these bouts that I don't feel like drinking water, like... To get some water in me, I really want either, you know, some trick behind it, be it carbonation, a water enhance, uh, water enhancer, um, both, you know. And then there are other times where, you know, I can pound out 64 ounces of water, no problem, because, I don't know, I just feel like drinking water. It's like, I don't know kind of like mood swings but in terms of drinking water but yeah usually I can down water okay but not as much as I would like to so I really do love water enhancers for existing because it's just a nice spin on you know putting you know water in your system however we just got to be careful on what is in those water enhancers is it really a genuine enhancement or is it more like a detriment so i don't know that's my little spiel on water enhancers and whatnot but yeah i have a ton of them and by ton i'm being subjective so yeah um let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on using water enhancers. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Are you curious as to trying them? Excuse me, y'all. You know, are you, like, up in the air about trying them? What are some unique water enhancers that you come across? Like, I've seen water enhancers for, like, soda brands, which is cute. So it's like, well, if you put the water enhancer in, you know, typically you're supposed to put it in flat water or, you know, tap water, whatever. Well, not tap water, but you know what I mean, like flat, non-carbonated water. It's just going to taste like a flat soda. But there's also like, okay, club soda or just original or unflavored sparkling water you put that in and you basically recreated the soda so you know what's the purpose when you could just buy the soda <laughs> so you know there, there's different facets about water enhancers that pique my interest I don't know about y'all but I don't, that, that's just how I'm feeling about water enhancers right now I'm really loving them like I've been loving them I, I love uh Crystal Light. Crystal Light to me is the OG of water enhancers. But I didn't realize, you know, ugh, they have the Big Bag 3 for the most part. It has the Aspartame, the Ace K. And, um, Sucralose. But now Crystal Light has their Pure line, which kind of, it's still pales in comparison to its main line of water enhancers but yeah crystal light um like i probably would go back to crystal light if they had their pure line as a liquid form because liquid v powder water enhancers that's a whole nother monster and maybe i can ramble about that next week when i tackle another water enhancer 
But all right, folks, I've talked off your ears enough. Thank you again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful weekend coming up. And I'll see you next week, Tuesday, for Tuesdays with a T. Until then, folks, make it a great day today and every day. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye now.